Hi guys, I'm Tyler and you're watching the TJS Base channel. Today I'm just going to give you a quick look at the specs and build quality on two different 60s style jazz basses from the Fender family. Um, one of those is the 60s Ventera jazz bass, which is a, a more recent Mexican made model. And the other of those is the Squire Classic Vibe 60s jazz bass. With both of them going for a vintage style instrument, I thought it would be quite interesting to compare the two. Obviously there's a big price difference and there are even differences in their build to the original 60s style bases. So I'm just going to go through those, go through the different specs and things that are slightly different between the two. And also try and give you an idea of where the, where the savings are made on the Squire versus the Mexican built guitar. And hopefully you'll have an idea of whether one is good for you, if, uh, if you want to go for one or if maybe neither is quite right for you. So let's have a, have a look. So I'll start off with the Squire. First of all, I must say both of these bases are available at Guitar Center Langley as it stands at the time of recording. And I will leave links to both in the description. So this is the Daphne Blue um, finish Squire. I really like the Daphne Blue. I think it's a great color and tortoise shell scratch plates on both of these bases, which I love. The difference in this base compared to the Ventera and also compared to most Fender bases is that the wood choice, it's made of poplar instead of alder. Um, and I, I like the sound of it to be honest. I, I'm not at all disappointed with the, the build quality or the, the sound of the wood. I honestly thought it was all there to be honest when I first picked it up and I had to check. Um, and the other difference is the fretboard is Indian Oh, I've got the Indian laurel was the, the, the wood. Um, it's kind of got a bit more of a rosewood-esque look, but it's not as dark. And the feel is quite similar to Palfero. It's not got a super heavy grain. It's a little bit more grain than a Palfero, but less porous than rosewood. I think having played both and plugged them both in and heard them, I think the Indian laurel makes it sound quite a lot darker than um, a Palfero fretboard. Um, and it's much closer to Rosewood for that, for that reason. The um, vintage hardware features on this base, so it's got a vintage style bridge, um, classic plastic knobs, metal plate. Fender don't specifically say what the pickups are, just Fender designed Alnico pickups. The headstock has vintage style tuners, maple neck, and I think it's a, it's a synthetic nut. The um, base is manufactured in Indonesia, crafted in Indonesia, um, and as it says in the back, designed and backed by Fender. So that's kind of just an idea of, of the, the Squire. The neck profile on it is quite slim, quite, it's a lot thinner than other vintage style bases, which is quite useful, I think, if you're a younger player or just getting into bass, which I think the Squire range is primarily aimed at. Though I'd be happy to take one of these with a couple of modifications out on the road and use it regularly. Over to the Ventura bass. You do feel a little bit of a step up in quality in terms of just how this bass feels when you pick it up. Um, older body, just like your classic Fenders. The neck is Palfero, so due to the whole CITES thing with rosewood being difficult to, to export and, and having extra costs if you're exporting rosewood, though hopefully that's coming to an end very, very soon when it comes to guitar manufacture and rosewood will be back on guitars. Um, this gives it a slightly different um, tone, I think, to a 60s jazz bass with a, a rosewood board. It's a lot brighter to my ear, um, and with Palfero you don't get much of a grain. It's um, quite a flat, flat non-porous wood, a lot like ebony. The finish is Firemist Gold, which I think is awesome. I think it looks really, really cool. Love the finish, and I love the tortoise shell scratch plate as well. Love a bit of tort. The hardware, just like the Squire, is vintage style stuff, so classic vintage style tuners. I think it's got a bone nut instead of the plasticky synthetic one on the Squire. So that's one of the cost savings. It's also got a vintage style bridge, just like the Squire and just like my custom shop P-Bass, all the same classic style of bridge. 
and the pickups are Fender's vintage style. The probably most significant difference between this and the Squire is the neck profile. The neck profile on the Vintera is a lot deeper, it's a lot thicker, um, it's not a P-Bass size at all, it's definitely a jazz bass and you can feel that but it's got more depth than most jazz basses I've played. So that's kind of the main difference is really the playability of having a, a fatter neck. And I also think that that changes the tone quite a lot. Um, I think bigger necks sound better. For me, they're thicker, deeper, all those things. Whereas if you like a, a skinnier, toppier tone, I think a skinnier neck reflects that really. Um, last thing is it's made in Mexico. So um, <clears throat> it's got that little step up in quality and build quality. I think the neck pocket on this base is a lot tighter. I mean, when I say a lot tighter, it's, it's, it's very small margins. But I feel like the, the pocket on this base is tighter than the pocket on the Squire, which is just a little, a little bit less well cut, a little less, a little bit wider, really. Um, in all honesty, I think both bases sound really good, and you could play either and be very, very happy. The extra money in the Vintera for me would be worth it for the neck profile. I'm all about my neck profiles, and I like a, a thicker neck. The one thing I don't really like on either is the gloss finish, but that goes away with wear. Um, the more you play it, that will that'll be less of an issue. I think sometimes they can be a bit sticky, and particularly if you've got cold hands, it can be a problem. Uh, but generally, it's not really an issue at all. It's just a personal preference thing that I prefer a satin finished neck. So that's that's it, really. That's, that's my comparison of the two bases. I think if you're going with a Squire, you're not really missing out on much. Um, but I think there is a little bit of a step up in quality when it comes to the Vintera and it's, it's, if you're going to be touring and making money from your base, it's really worth having the, the Mexican made over the Squire. But if you're just starting out, um, you can get a really, really long way on the Squire. I'd say you could, you could use that for many, many years and not have a problem. So that's just my quick overview of the build quality on the two bases and my, my thoughts on the, the spec. If you want a thicker neck, you need to be looking at these Vintera jazz basses because there's a, it's a nice hefty chunky neck for a jazz bass. And if you're into a slimmer profile with those still kind of vintage sounds, take a look at the Squire. Um, it's probably everything you'd need for a good few years to come. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, um, lots of tone demos, lots of comparison videos, and lots of Fender content in collaboration with Guitar Centre Langley, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button to be notified as soon as I release content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you around soon.